We have Debs with us today, who's going to share her family story with us and tell us how they work with Children with Cancer UK. Debs, thank you so much for coming to see us today at Abilion HQ. Um, yeah, it really means a lot to us and we're really grateful. But we'd love you to start and tell us a little bit about you and your family's story. Thank you very much for inviting us along to this. We've been on this journey um, for almost three years now. My wow. daughter was diagnosed with stage four neuroblastoma back in December 21. Um, she was only five, five and a half years old oh. at the time. This came after a year of being told that the, her lump in her tummy was something else. Right. We had her tested for what we thought was celiac and really? obviously what came back wasn't. So yeah, December 21, we told your child's got cancer. Mm -hmm. It's every parent's worst nightmare. Yeah. Nobody expects it, nobody no, wants it. The whole world just turns upside down. Mm. And our lives went from being just normal mum and dad and yeah. child to hospital visits, blood draws, operations and mm. um, so young to explain that to her. Yeah. What, why she's going through all of that. Dorsey, bless her, she's um almost three years into into her mm -hmm. journey now. And now we're on to, to maintenance. Okay. And how long does that last for? She'll have to do that for about five to six months. Okay. We're hoping that she'll get to ring the bell early next yeah, year. That's so exciting. <laughs> so are there any small victories or happy moments that have helped you during the last few years? The most recent one is when we got told Dulcie's um, second clinical trial had worked mm -hmm. and her score had gone from 10 yeah. um, down to 1. She okay. had like one spot left in her, in her femur. And that came after um, being told halfway through the second trial that she was still stable. Okay. That her score hadn't changed at all. Right. And that we may be running out of options. Mm -hmm. So then to be told that it had worked yeah. and that she had done enough to go to high dose, we were just absolutely over the moon. Do you really celebrate those moments? We do. <laughs> yeah, you do. We do celebrate. Dulcie's way of celebrating is going to a little, uh, one of her favourite restaurants down by us and she oh. has pancakes and bacon and we syrup. <laughs> <laughs> That's all she ever wants is something oh. like that. Are you able to share a funny or touching story that stands out from your journey? We were down in Southampton and we were staying at a, a charity house that was down mm -hmm. there and Dulcie absolutely fell in love with the ladies that run the house down oh. there. But she used to turn one of their living rooms into a shop and she used to charge them 50p for a cookie or a oh, sweet. She sounds like she's got a fab car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she did a Black Friday day where they said, oh, if you buy one sweet, you get another sweet she, for free. She did she a Black Friday. She can't for us. <laughs> that sounds just someone like we need right here. So let's talk about Children with Cancer, the charity. How did you first connect with them? Having a daughter with cancer, um, we needed help mm -hmm. as to how do we navigate through this world we found ourselves thrust yeah. into. And we came across Children with Cancer UK and I went onto their website to see how they could help with what we're going through. And mm -hmm. their website is full of amazing mm. Um, stories and yeah. financial help or yeah. different avenues that you could look through to, to help you navigate through a yeah. very complex world. Where we are essentially mm. located in the UK, we've had to travel yeah. obviously 200 yeah. miles north, 300 miles south to yeah. go and get treatment and it has, it, everything adds yeah. up. And so having charities like Children with Cancer UK, they, they help you to navigate that world mm -hmm. and yeah. help you see where you can go and get the grants from and where you can yeah. get additional support from. Yeah. So why is Children with Cancer UK such an important charity to support? They rely on public funding and the public need to get behind charities like this to help them fund research into kinder treatments for children. These children are having um, medications that's meant for adults that is watered down yeah. based on their height and their weight. Okay. And Children with Cancer UK are helping to fund better research mm -hmm. into that. They say children are our future. Well, mm -hmm. Let's invest in them. Yeah. Let's find yeah. these kind of treatments. Yeah. So can you share a little bit more about how the charity support you as a family? I have suffered with my mental health yeah. over the last two years. Mm -hmm. um, my daughter has said stuff to me that no parent wants yeah. to hear, and I've needed that help. Of course. So I've gone onto their website and I've looked at um, how can I get help, how mm -hmm. can I get in touch with other families. It sounds like the support they've given you, like that's so, again, invaluable. It is. Because it isn't just Dulcie is affected. You're all affected. You're all and, affected. You know, and I, I imagine you show up every day and you're the strong character for her. Yeah. How do you find speaking to other families? Has that been really helpful? It has been massively yeah. helpful because then you know you're not alone on this journey. Yeah. And 
it's such a big thing and you keep being told by the doctors and the nurses oh childhood cancer is so rare mm. and it's because of that tagline yeah. that these type of charities can't get the funding right, from the okay. government that they need mm -hmm. because it's such a rare yeah. thing for a child to get yeah. cancer um, but yet it's still the biggest killer of children under 13. Um, Dorsey couldn't come back from Southampton the one time because um, she was too ill to travel by a car. She would have to travel by ambulance right. and be admitted to a ward in West Midlands. Okay. All beds were killed. Really? She couldn't come home because all beds were filled. And if childhood cancer is so rare, why that are the oncology wards filled? Yeah. yeah, of course, yeah. We are launching our Children with Cancer Charm. What did you think when you first saw it? I loved it. I thought it was beautiful. Um, I'm wearing one now. Um, I absolutely loved the design of it, the mm -hmm. holding hand of the heart. Um, as I said, families like ours need that helping hand. Yeah. We need that guidance. Um, and you've got the Children with Cancer UK logo on the back, which people can look at this and they can go straight to that website to see what it means. Why do you think Abbott Lyons Charm would make a lovely Christmas gift? It would make a beautiful Christmas gift. Um, I believe you obviously do them in silver as well as the we gold. Do, yeah. um, they add an add, added sparkle, be a nice little stocking filler. Yeah. But not only that, you're, they're contributing to mm -hmm. the cause. What would you like to say to those considering buying the Children with Cancer Charm to support families just like yours? Do it. Do it. Not even a question about it. The more funding that we can give to Children with Cancer UK, the better, because it just means they have more money to be able to do a lot more yeah. for families like mine. Good advice. <laughs>